So maraming salamat sa inyong pagbabalik mga kaibigan. Ang ating ng pag-aaralan ngayong araw ay uh, tungkol lahat sa quantile deviation. So ano ba yan? Quantile deviation is an another way of measuring the variability of an observation. At hinahati ito sa apat. <clears throat> Ano-ano ba yan? Uh, meron tayong percentile deviation, decile deviation, interquartile range, and quartile deviation. So, ngayong araw na ito, uh, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba kuhanin ng percentile deviation, decile, etc. So, ano ba muna yung apat na yun? So, una na nga, yung percentile deviation. Percentile deviation. Percentile deviation describe the variations of the middle 80% of the data set. So, yung 80% daw, middle 80% of the data set. And it is calculated by the formula PD. O, huwag na akong maglagay niyan. PD or the percentile division is equal to P90 minus P sub 10. That is our formula. Number 2 is the decile deviation. Decile deviation. The same with percentile, uh, it describes also the variations of the middle 80% of the data set. So, kaya lang, hindi siya D, P, uh, di siya D sub 90 at D sub 10. Dahil ang ating uh, decile ay hanggang 10 lang. So, ang ating uh, decile deviation is uh, D sub 9 minus D sub 1. Hindi siya 90 at hindi siya 10. Kasi nga, kaya naging 90 kasi percentile yan. Kaya naging 9 yan kasi decile lang. So, yan tatandaan natin. Number 3 is the interquartile range. Interquartile range ano ba yan that is a measure of variation based on the quartiles of distribution it describes the variations of the middle 50% of the data set kung ito ay 80% middle 80% also middle 80% ito naman ay middle 50% so paano ba kunin yan that is IR equals Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. That is our formula. And lastly is the quartile deviation. Quartile deviation. Okay. And our formula for solving the quartile deviation is Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1 all over 2. Alright. These are the formulas na gagamitin natin para ma-solve yung percentile deviation and etc. Okay, mag-proceed na nga tayo. No? Magigay na tayo ng example. Let's say, uh, example number one. Given the following data. Given the following data, let's say, um, nine. and 35 so let's say for example we have this following data now to solve for the uh, percentile deviation nabawa pinapahanap sa atin yung percentile deviation percentile deviation and that is denoted by PD 
So, alam natin, ang formula ng PD, di yan public display of attention, ha? PDA yun. PD is a percentile division. The formula used is P sub 90 minus P sub 10. So, kailangan muna natin kuhanin yung 19, 90th percentile and 10th percentile. So, paano ba natin kukunin yun? Gamit yung formula ng percentile. Which is, uh, saan ba yung dito na lang? Yung formula ng percentile natin, P sub K, is um, K all over 100 multiply by N. That is our formula. Ngayon, bago natin i-apply yan, iba sabi dapat daw ascending order yung ating uh, data sets. Eh, kung mapapansin natin, papataas naman yan eh. 9, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, etc. So, increasing na yan. Hindi natin kailangan arrange pa. Yan na yung kanyang order. So, ayun na nga. Kunin na nga natin yung P sub 90. P sub 90 is equal to kung pang ilan and then 100 multiply by the number of samples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Multiply by 2, that is 16. Therefore, our P sub 90 is 90 over 100 multiplied by 16. 14.4 14.4 round up natin, that is 15. Big sabihin, yung ating P sub 90 ay yung pang 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, 15. That is 35. And, yung P sub 10 naman natin, that is 10 over 100 divided by 16. Which is, 10 divided by 100 multiplied by 16. That is 2. 1.6 eh. So, approximately... 2, kasi nga may round up natin therefore ang ating P sub 10 ay yung pangalawa which is 18 habig sabihin pala ang ating uh, percentile division is P sub 90 that is 35 minus P sub 10 that is 18 equals alright equals 35 minus 18 that is 17 17. That is the percentile division. So, pangalawa, kapag kinukuha naman ang uh, ano ba to? Decile Decile division B Decile division So, that is denoted as, denoted by DD. So, our decile deviation formula is D sub 9 minus D sub 1. Then, to be able to solve for D sub 9 and D sub 1, kailangan alam natin yung formula ng D sub K or ng decile, which is K divided by 10 multiplied by N. So, still, K is the... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Kung pang ilan? <laughs> at N ay yung uh, total number of sample, which is 16. Nakuha na nga natin kanina, 16. Ngayon, uh, solve na natin yung ating D sub 9. D sub 9 is 9 over 10 multiplied by 16 which is I think the same with the percentile 14.4 that is 15 so yung pang 15 daw that is still 35 and for the uh, 
this sub 1, that is 1 over 10 multiplied by 16, which is 2. Tulad nung nakuha natin kanina, therefore our, our this sub 1 is 18. Sabihin pala, ang ating decimal division is 35 minus 18 is still 17. Halos magkamukha sila nung ating percentile deviation. Next is the interquartile. So letter C is interquartile range. Or IR. And the formula is Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. So again, para makuha natin yung quartiles, that is Q sub K uh, equals K over 4 multiplied by N. So kunin na nga natin yung Q sub 3, no? yung third quartile. Third quartile now is 3 over 4 multiplied by 16, which is 3 over 4 multiplied by 16, that is 12. Yung pang labing dalawa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 31. Our third quartile is 31. Alright. Then, Q sub 1 now is 1 over 4 multiplied by 16. 16 divided by 4, yung pang-apat daw. Therefore, our Q sub 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 21. Magsabihin pala, Ang ating IR ay Q sub 3, that is 31, minus Q sub 1, that is 21. Our IR is, sorry, di nakita. IR is 10. Ayan. Then lastly is the quartile deviation. Yung quartile deviation, kung mapapansin nyo, ay uh, dinivide lang sa 2 yung interquartile range. So, kapag nakuha ng interquartile range, ano ngayon nakuha natin IR? 10. Ibig sabihin, yung ating quart uh, quartile deviation, quartile deviation, is IR over 2 which is 10 over 2 5 so yung ating quartile division is 5 kasi nga dinivide lang sa 2 yung ating uh, interquartile range yun maraming salamat sa panonood mga kaibigan uh, wag nyong kalimutang ilike ang ating channel Toot! at gayon din syempre mag subscribe na rin kayo Toot! at wag nyo rin kalimutan na pindutin yung ating bell upang makareceive ng mga notification sa mga susunod nating videos Toot! maraming salamat so ayun nga mga kaibigan ano? uh, Ngayon, uh, kung kayo ay meron pang mga karagdagang katanungan or meron kayong gustong uh, malaman pa na medyo naguguluhan kayo sa loob ng uh, klase o saan pa man, uh, maaari kayong mag-send or mag-message ng mga katanungan ninyo sa mga accounts na ito. Sa aking Gmail account is engineerulysis at gmail.com at sa aking Facebook account naman, ito yung aking official account is Yuli Cruz Cruz. So, mag-message lamang kayo dyan ang inyong katanungan at susubukan natin yan ay sagutin upang tayo ay makatulong hindi lamang sa inyo at pati na rin sa iba. Yun lamang, maraming salamat at pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat.